Hi YouTubers, I'm back for another what would have happened if this, if this were in real life Rhino TMRT gameplay series YouTube video. Now I've been trying over and over and over again to do another one of these and you know now that I've kind of come up with another topic for this one and honestly I'm quite very surprised and all that so uh yeah. Now, keep in mind that this is one that I wanted to do because, you know, it felt very great and all, and, yeah, and I guess it felt very great because, you know, I wanted to do this one, and, you know, it felt very interesting, and, yeah, I guess it kind of does make sense now that I think about it. I mean, I guess it kind of does make sense now, or, yeah, I'm gonna have to think of something for, uh, uh, this week's, uh, a trailer reaction YouTube videos, but I'll probably come up with something for that, and, uh, this is one that I actually wanted to do for a very, very, very long time, and I actually had the idea in my head for a long, long time, so, yeah, let's get it over with, so, yeah, so, this is what would have happened if the next Karate Kid 2 movie were in real life. Now we could move into the beginning where Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi, you know, uh, uh, just so, not, not to everyone who's watching this, I haven't seen the, the, the next Karate Kid movie, I'm just doing the sequel, so yeah. So, Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi are enjoying their time after, you know, getting, after, you know, getting rid of that other main villain from, after putting an end to that other main villain from the, uh, that, I forgot whose name that was, from the first Next Karate Kid movie, and uh, I figured that, you know, I would take this a, a step in a totally di different direction, so yeah, so yeah, it kind of starts off like that, so Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi are, are, are of course doing that same thing, you know, using the chopsticks to catch the fly, they were doing that exact same thing when suddenly they get a, uh, they get a warning, they get a letter, when suddenly they, they get a letter sent out to them in their mailbox stating that, you know, a new, stating that a new evil, uh, a new evil martial arts organization now owned by Mike Barnes, who is one, so I figured that I had Mike Barnes as the main antagonist for, for the next Karate Kid 2 movie. Well, I mean, this, and however, so I'm guessing this probably wouldn't be canon with the, uh, with, so I'm guessing this could or could not be canon with Cobra Kai, but, TV show, but, uh, I guess I'll probably come up with something, so yeah. So Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi, so Mr. Miyagi's all like, Mike Barnes. He's the same guy me and Daniel LaRusso fought a lot, me and Daniel's son fought a long time ago. So, Julie Pierce is all like, so you know this guy? And then Mr. Miyagi is like, yes. Me and, me and Daniel's son uh, had put in an end to him. Now in his mid to late 20s, he's now, um, now in his mid to, now in Mike Barnes in his mid to late 20s, he's now, um, and now in his mid to late 20s, he now, 20s, he now, he's now, he's now a, has succeeded where John Creason and Terry Silver haven't, which honestly is quite the best idea because, you know, I kind of wanted it to be like this, I wanted it to be sort of like a new sort of way, and it's a new idea if you think about it, so yeah, and so Julie, so Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi set out to China to stop this evil martial arts organization uh, that takes children away from their families. That is actually run and owned in the, as the creator and founder by the creator and by the creator and founder of it, Mike Barnes. So Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi eventually go eventually take a plane to China and then you know, they sit down and then Julie Pierce it, tells Mr. Miyagi, uh, will this Mike Barnes guy take it easy on us? And then Mr. Miyagi says this famous quote. Not all of our enemy, not all of my enemies are gonna take it easy, you know. So that's the famous quote that Mr. Yagi would say in the next Karate Kid too. So they, of course, so both uh, Julie Pierce and uh, Mr. Miyagi, they both um, they both get out of the plane, and then they find out that China is it has a lot of evil martial artists trying to like destroy buildings and get rid of every uh. 
every get rid of every like weak person in all of China and then they're going to re and then they're going to brand them and then they're going to rebrand themselves into doing the exact same thing for Japan and all the other places and even Okinawa from from the like Karate Kid Part 2 well Karate Kid 2 to be uh, uh, it also known as the Karate Kid 2 just to let you all know now, yeah, so yeah, I haven't seen the next Karate Kid movie, so this seems like a perfectly good idea. So Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi find, them so find themselves in a hotel where it's basically the only safe place that they can ever go to. They, of course, unpack all their stuff, and then, of course, and then, of course they sleep in, 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 their hotel, in their hotel bedroom. And then, meanwhile, then the next morning, Julie Pierce actually wakes up and uh, tells Mr. Yagi, "So, are we going to put an end? Are we going to put an end to this Mike Barnes, just like how we did with that other guy, other villain from, other villain guy from the other movie?" And then, Mr. And then, of course, Mr. Miyagi says, "Um, no, um, no, no, we're not, we're not ready yet. We still have to train to." The, to put an end to Mike Barnes. So this is sort of like a new sort of way. Because of this, there's no tournament. There's no tournament. There's no there's no like uh, there's no there's like a new location filled with like new characters and and you know in sort of like a new storyline, which a, a new great storyline, which honestly is quite the best idea. So Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi actually go to different areas, in different areas of China, when they find out when Julie Pierce actually calls it, calls Julie's mom, who I forgot the name, who I forgot the, who I don't even know the name was, was for that one, and tells them how they're doing in China, trying to put an end to uh, Mike Barnes's evil uh, martial arts organization. Now, she of course tells them that they're doing perfectly well and just fine. And then we get to all that sometime later in, like, you know, the future and all that. And meanwhile, we see Mike Barnes, who's looking, who now has his own tower in China, tower in China, tower in China, and of, and of course, uh, who now has his own tower in China, and uh, best of all, he also has his, his own, um, he also has his own, like, you know, mirror and all that. Like, you know, he has his, like, big window, like, shaped, like, like, um, building. And all, like, a tall building. Kind of like the one from Toy Story 2. And so, yeah, this is kind of just how it's going to be. Because, you know, I kind of enjoy it that much. And then Mike Barnes actually gets a call from Terry, actually gets a call from John Kreese and Terry Silver. And saying that... He's conquered most of China, and, uh, yeah, and then, I, and then, of course, we, and then, of course, it all, you know, cuts to black, and then, of course, we cut open to another scene, and then we cut open to another part of the movie where Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi are, are gonna have, are actually founded, are actually found by Mike Barnes, however, um, Julie Pearson, however, Julie Pierce actually gets out of the hotel before Mike Barnes and his, uh, and his evil martial artists go there, and then Mr. Miyagi is all like, "Enough of this! I will take you all! I will take you all!" So then he uses his, you know, regular martial arts against against Mike Barnes' uh, evil martial artists, and then of course they have an epic ch car chase, and then of course both Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi uh, eventually go into like a eventually go into their in into a, their car. And then they eventually leave the hotel, and then they, and then of course Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi have a, uh, have a car chase between with them between with them against uh, Mike Barnes and his uh, evil um, evil uh, martial art, martial artists, which honestly is quite the greatest idea that I've ever come up with. And this car chase actually, and this martial arts car chase actually lasts for like. A few couple of minutes because it only lasts for like forty to sixty minutes because because everybody loves long car chases because a lot of people might love long car chases well at least because everybody loves car chases and all that which I guess kind of does make sense I mean there's already car chases in the in there's already a car chase in the uh, 
Sonic the Hedgehog 2 trailer, so yeah, I guess it kind of does feel great for me to do all that. And then, of course, the car chase that, that, that's 40 minutes to 50, 60 seconds long, where they actually, where Julie Pierce versus Mike Barnes, where Julie Pierce actually uses martial arts against Mike Barnes on two vehicles at the same time. So picture two vehicles that are, that are in a car chase, but then on the top, one of them on the top is Mike Barnes, and the other on the top is Julie Pierce, and both of them are fighting using martial arts. So think of it somewhat sort of as like that. However, that car chase eventually ends, and then, of course, they eventually go over down to a bridge. They eventually get, they eventually get over to a bridge where suddenly... Where suddenly Mike Barnes' evil martial artists are, ha have, you know, have, you know, all, you know, uh, where they all, you know, die. Except for Mike Barnes, that is, and Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi. And then Julie Pierce, and then Mr. Miyagi is able to pull up, uh, is, be able, is able to put Julie Pierce up into the higher ground. And then Mr. Miyagi is all, like, and then Mr. Miyagi and, and, uh, and then Mr. Miyagi and Mike Barnes are all like uh, fighting each other with like martial martial arts within like the uh, they're all doing that like you know when they're hanging onto the rope, they're like doing it while doing all that, which kind of does feel like a risky scene, a risky move for making a scene like that, you know, doing martial arts on a rope while fighting somebody with it, which honestly is quite a very great idea. And then just before Mike Barnes is about to fall, um, uh, just before Mike Barnes is about to fall into into his into his death, um, uh, uh, Mr. Miyagi actually um puts him puts it throws Mike Barnes into the water, which may which means and he even and Mike Barnes eventually dives into the water and then and then of course he fa and then of course he fakes his own death by drowning himself. However, uh, what they, however, so basically, uh, Mike Barnes drowns to death. So, Julie Pierce and Mr. Miyagi, they eventually go back to their home, and then they, of course, celebrate and enjoy themselves. And then, of course, they bow in the end, and then everything is perfectly fine. So, yeah, it's actually a perfectly good ending. And then we get a post credit scene where the, uh, where and then we get a post credit scene where Mike Barnes actually survived while drowning his death, so he faked his death, and then you know he contacts John Kreese and Terry Silver and stating, "I lost my I lost my evil uh, martial martial artist organization martial arts organization, but I know that someday in the future, you can you can do you can do a much similar but different thing." And you will, you will take, take the, you will do the exact same thing for the valley. You will do a similar but different thing for the valley someday in the future. And then, of course, cut to black, um, and Mike Barnes gives an evil laugh. And then, of course, that was my take on the, on the what would have happened if the next Karate Kid 2 movie were in real life. Now, honestly, I quite, I kind of quite enjoyed this because, you know, it's actually a new idea. The martial arts car chase scene, the martial arts rope scene. It kind of feels like a new sort of direction for the next Karate Kid, the, the Karate Kid franchise. It feels like a good, it feels like a sort of new and a, a new good, a new good and a similar but different a new idea for the, you know, the Karate Kid franchise. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for today. Peace out. Bye bye.